This is ABC News Nightline. Reporting from Washington, Ted Koppel. It was the president of Godfather's Pizza versus the president of the United States. My question is quite simply, if I'm forced to do this, what will I tell those people whose jobs I will have to eliminate? My mother was a domestic worker. My father, he did hold down three jobs. He was a barber, a chauffeur, and a custodian, all at the same time. By working at three jobs, Kane's father was able to buy a house for his family. And these lessons left an enduring impression on young Herman. Well, I learned the work ethic real early in my life. My father never looked for a government program. He never looked for a government handout. I never heard my father complain about somebody owing him anything. All I ever saw was how hard my father worked to get what he wanted to get out of life. Those were my beginnings, and they've been with me ever since. As Kane began his family life, a social revolution began sweeping across the South. Growing up and being uh, in the midst of what was happening in the South in the late 50s and the early 60s, uh, you were part of history, but you didn't think of it as being part of history at the time. And fortunately, with the Civil Rights Movement, predominantly led by Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., I think it's even more impactful today, looking back on the significance of that part of our history, than it was when we were in the middle of it. Kane's career paralleled his father's, always working hands-on and moving from job to job. His work in the food industry made him a corporate leader, but he wanted to live his life's philosophy by owning his own business, which was a style of determination and perseverance that intimidates some but inspires others. Too many of us want success to happen quickly and easy. When we were growing up, you knew it wasn't going to come easy or quickly. We were going to have to be successful the old-fashioned way, work for it.